नेक्स्ट फिफ्थ प्रॉब्लम इफ आल्फा कामा बीटा आर द रूट्स ऑफ एक्स स्क्वायर माइनस टू एक्स प्लस फोर इज इक्वल टू जीरो देन शो दट देन शो दट आल्फा पावर एन प्लस बीटा पावर एन इक्वल्स टू 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 द पावर ऑफ एन प्लस वन कास एन पाई बाई थ्री just observe this problem this problem is actually we have to do in three steps first step finding the values of alpha and beta that means solving the quadratic equation substitute alpha and beta and again the alpha and beta are to be transformed to the polar form then applying the de moore's theorem so that the problem we can solve the first step let us do it so consider x square minus 2x plus 4 is equal to 0 here a is 1 b is minus 2 c is equal to 4 quadratic equation comparing so alpha comma beta is equal to we have Minus b plus r minus root of b square minus 4ac by 2a. This is a quadratic formula. So this b is minus 2 minus of minus plus 2 plus r minus under root of b square is 4 minus 16 by 2a. 2a means 2. This will be 2 plus r minus root minus 12 by 2. What is root minus twelve? That is actually you can write minus four into three. Square root of minus four is two i. This is two root three i. So we can write now two plus r minus two root three i by two. Taking two common out, we get one plus r minus root three i. That means alpha will be one plus root three i. Beta becomes one minus root three i. Now alpha power n plus beta power n we have to find out. That means alpha power n plus beta power n. So that means first better. Write one plus three in complex form. Consider this one plus root three i is equal to r into cos theta plus i sin theta form. Okay. So now r is equal to root of a square one square plus root three square. One plus three, four. That is two. So one plus root three, yeah, theta. We have to find out. Tan inverse b by a. So tan inverse here root three. That is sixty degrees pi by three. Because one comma root three is first quadrant only positive angle. Therefore, one plus root three i is equivalent to. Two times cos pi by three plus i sine pi by three. Similarly, this one minus root three i equals to two times cos pi by three minus i sine pi by three. So now let us go to the problem. What is the problem? Take left hand side. Alpha power n plus beta power n, which equal to one plus root three i power n 
plus 1 minus root 3 i power n. Just go through it. Now, 1 plus root 3 i means polar form you have to write even for 1 minus root 3 i also we have to substitute polar form. Let us substitute it. This is 2 times cos pi by 3 plus i sin pi by 3 all to the power of n plus 2 times cos pi by 3 minus i sin pi by 3 all to the power of n. Applying de Mover's theorem, we get this is 2 power n into cos n pi by 3 plus i sin n pi by 3 okay, plus 2 power n cos n pi by 3 minus i sin n pi by 3 take 2 power n common. If you take 2 power n common, we get cos n pi by 3 plus i sin n pi by 3 plus cos n pi by 3 minus i sin n pi by 3. Okay. Now, this i n pi by 3, i n pi by 3 gets cancelled. What do we have? 2 power n into 2 cos n pi by 3. 2 power n into 2 is 2 power n plus 1 cos n pi by 3. Hence, it is fruit. Sixth problem. If n is a positive integer then show that one plus cos theta plus i sin theta all power n plus 1 plus cos theta minus i sin theta whole power n is equal to 2 power n plus 1 cos to the power of n of theta by 2 into cos of n theta by 2. This is also expected question in the examination. So, now first this 1 plus cos theta plus i sin theta we have to write in polar form. Similarly, the 1 plus cos theta minus i sin theta can be written directly. So, first so now this consider 1 plus cos theta plus i sin theta. This 1 plus cos theta is 2 cos square theta by 2. In sub multiple as angles we have discussed sin theta means 2 sin theta by 2 cos theta by 2 i into 2 sin theta by 2 cos theta by 2. Now, we can take out 2 cos theta by 2 common. If we take 2 cos theta by 2 common, we get cos theta by 2 plus i of sin theta by 2. Yes, now it has put in polar form. Similarly, could you expect the polar form of 1 plus cos theta minus i sin theta? Yes, it is conjugate. So, that is 2 cos theta by 2 cos theta by 2 
minus i sin theta by 2. Now, let us come to the problem. So, left hand side of the problem, consider left hand side. What is the left hand side here? 1 plus cos theta plus i sin theta whole power n plus 1 plus cos theta minus i sin theta whole power n. Now, substitute this value in the place of this one, substitute this value in the place of this one in the left hand side. So, this is equal to 2 cos theta by 2 of cos of theta by 2 plus i sin theta by 2 whole power n. Okay. Plus this is 2 cos theta by 2 into cos